Yo, what's going on, good people? Just a little quick reminder, well, actually two reminders. Uh, there won't be an Ark Noia and the Doctor episode today. Apparently, um, Ark has caught up with something there he's got to do. So we'll have to wait till Monday to do episode 55. Definitely tune in for that this coming Monday. And uh, later on this evening, it will be my simulcast with the Real as Fuck TV crew. Minnesota Vikings fan, Minnesota Silver Row Hunter. And um, we're, 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 working, excuse me, we're welcoming callers to call in and say hi. I'm hoping we'll get Bozy, Dave Rose, Flamov Ken, a couple other people on the call just as well. We welcome callers, you know, as long as you're polite, as long as you know what you're talking about, and don't come in slamming this person, slamming that person there, going ape shit on everything out there, screaming, hollering, ah, you know. That's all I ask, you know. You know I, so definitely check it out later on this evening. My simulcast with the real Spock TV there. Come check it out. I want to take a little time to respond to something that um, that I saw last night on Bullfrog's channel. Actually, it was uh, taken from Bullfrog's channel onto Corrupted Nation, that channel by Joe Cronin. It was a conversation on the phone there between Bullsey and Cronin himself there, while Bullfrog just sat there and watched, you know, got up from the seed, came back, blah, 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 and all that good stuff there. Joe apparently uh, made that little clip there, which is still on his Twitter feed. It's a clip of me, you know, ranting and raving and threatening to, to shoot this place up, you know, go after this thing here, go after this group of people here, you know, go after this, you know. He took those clips of those earlier videos of mine and he compiled, compiled them into this little thing here, making me look like a psychopath. And yet he, uh, and he also stated, well, cut the bullshit, you know, how can you say um, not to uh, make suicide jokes like I do, but yet you're on, on your videos threatening uh, to kill this person or that person. Well, let me respond to that. I'm going to say this and that will be it. I would never kill anybody. I would never actually shoot anyone. See, where I grew up, you know, we often use that as a figure of speech at times. Like, say, if you're mad at your 10-year-old child, you say, if you do that again, I'm going to kill you. You don't actually mean you want to actually kill them. It actually means you want to beat their asses, you know. And at that time when I was making those statements, I was going through a lot of anger and resentment issues from things that have been said and done to me in the past when I was still in Michigan. See, I had a lot of resentment towards a lot of people back in my home state. There were things that were said to me and done to me, you know, which a lot of times in the past would come up while I was at my old job and it would help also make me rage out. Now, you may ask yourself, why the fuck are you raging over things that happened years ago when you should just let it go and move on? See, I mentioned this before, and I have to mention it again. The way we were brought up was if you didn't get back at this group of people or this person for what they said or did to you, you were labeled a coward. A couple of times I wasn't able to get even with this person or that person, and I was brutally made fun of for that. And, you know, that, that shit like that sticks in your head forever. And you got to remember, the human mind is like a computer. It stores a lot of stuff there that's going to stay in there forever. Like, if you were told as a kid, you're a piece of shit, you're a piece of crap, they're going to go out through their teenage and adult years believing that. I guess it, which explains why um, parents are now encouraged, you know, to say different things other than words like that, you know. 
because words like that will affect them in the long run, you know, and I'm one of those people. Now, there was an incident where I was about to go off on my sister because she forgot something that I had told her. And I said, well, couldn't you remember? Why didn't you remember what I had to say? You know, I, and my brother-in-law, he starts in, screams at me to stop doing that. I said, well, that's how people were with me when I forgot. That's how people were with me. Shouldn't I do the same? He said, no. Because one, it makes you look like an idiot and you don't need to repeat what your mother and father said and did to you. You know? And I guess when I lost my previous job, weeks before the pandemic striking us from behind, you know, it made me realize, you know, I was wrong for being like that way. I was wrong for being so resentful and hateful towards things that I cannot change. You know, it's in the past, move on, let go. They'll get theirs in the long run. And eventually, um, a couple of them did get theirs in the end. One old next door neighbor who I used to be friends with back in when we lived in Roseville you know, uh, he later turned cold to me because I wouldn't smoke weed, drink alcohol, or do drugs with him. And everybody else that he was hanging with was doing those things. I was outcasted. He pushed me away. Didn't want to bother with me no more. Turns out he ended up getting his just desserts. Dude used to continue doing drugs and drugs and more drugs to the point where he ended up having three strokes. The third one, the police actually had to arrest him in order to get him some help. He later was placed at the um, area that I was living in at that time, Richmond, Michigan, in 29, 2009, I meant to say. My bad. Remember, these things are unscripted. And apparently he had to walk with the cane he said he yeah, often had trouble with his legs at times because of the muscles. While it was me, who never did drugs, never smoked a cigarette, is still walking, still functioning, still able to move around, ride a bike, go to a nightclub, dance a little bit there. I'm still able to do the things I'm still doing there with no problem at all. You know, I'm a very physical, active guy. The friend, however, you know, he sits alone in his uh, apartment there, probably still in his apartment right now, in Memphis, Michigan. See, he's since uh, moved to that spot there. He just sits on his ass, watching either Nick at Night, TV Land, or uh, reminiscing old TV shows on these other channels there. So he got his just desserts in the end there. I'm thinking possibly the other people that screwed me over, they're going to get theirs just as well there. I'm just waiting for the time being when I hear about it on Facebook. But the summary area of all this is that, yeah, I said a lot of upsetting things in those earlier videos. I was angry. I was resentful, and uh, since my unemployment throughout the summer of 2020, and along with the pandemic, keeping us all inside our homes, I guess you could say I learned my lesson. And since I've been with this line of work here since November, I've really approved. I've not had a temper flare up. I've had. I didn't have any issues with any customers. I have not had any issues whatsoever with management or anything. Because at the previous job, I was resentful as fuck. I've since, you know, um, overcame that. 
and will ever in absence, you know, learn from my mistakes. Big time. Now, for those out there who um, wish me to do so, I will, I will do this. I hereby never will ever ever say things, I'm gonna shoot this person or I'm gonna kill that some bitch. I will never say anything like that ever again. In my videos, on my channel, any streams that I'm on or I'm uh, hosting there, I will never be like that ever again. And that's a promise, all right? That's all I want to say. I'm Dr. Earl. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Hit that like bob, excuse me. Hit that like button. And subscribe to my channel, everybody. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.